Welcome to my 2024 work from home setup tour. You see, I work full time as an esports caster and as content creator slash manager. And my hobbies are gaming and streaming, which means I pretty much spend all my time in front of my computer. That means my setup needs to be as comfortable as possible, but I live in a very small apartment and right now I am in a very small room. I hope my setup can give you some ideas or inspiration if you're also thinking about starting your setup or upgrading or changing it and you're working in a really limited space. Now, before we continue, all products that I'm gonna be showing in this video are not sponsored unless specified otherwise. Let's go. Let's start with the biggest parts of my setup, my chair and my table. Both of them, including the mat on the table, are from Diablo. The chair is four years old and unfortunately it is starting to show some wear and tear. It is working, but I'm starting to think about replacing it. It's also worth mentioning that this is the biggest chair that Diablo make and it's definitely a little bit too big for me, but it fits me and my dog and my blanket, so I don't really complain. But in terms of working in limited space, that was not the smartest decision ever. I have a little blanket on it, just you know, to cover some wear and tear so it's not visible on the streams of Kasten because I like working with open windows and it gets a little bit cold here in winter. This blanket is from Twitch Rivals. They gave it to me there when I was working for them last summer. It was really nice and I love this blanket, it's very soft. The table is exactly three years old and it's a really good table. I really have no complaints about it, but the table mat is kind of eh. The years have not been kind to it, it's kind of falling apart a little bit. I am thinking about getting a new one because aesthetically I like it, but also all of the fingerprints, everything, any little piece of dirt is gonna be super visible on this material. So I am considering trying to find an alternative somewhere else. The table itself though, boy, zero complaints. It is exceptionally sturdy, like I have all my monitors on it and I don't fear like something is going to fall off. And I love the little details like the cup holders and the cable holes. And also you can regulate the height of it, so I love it. The table is definitely not wide enough. I would love for it to be a little bit wider so the monitors would be further away from my eyes, but I chose this with myself because again, very limited space in this room. So it's not really something I have any right to complain about. Now, how about we check the computer itself? This little beast of a machine. I built it in 2019 with the help of two of my friends. It was a pretty expensive machine back then, but I really wanted to build a good one because I wanted to start streaming and I also wanted it to be able to run VR games for me. Inside, it has NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070, Intel i7 and I believe 32 gigabytes of RAM memory, but I'm not sure, I'll need to check. Here are the full specs if you're interested in that. Let's go. Oh, by the way, and if you're interested about the box that is standing under my table, uh, it's for putting your feet on it because then you're sitting in a better position or something. This is the top of the desk, so the part where all the fun happens. I have two monitors on it. One of them is AUC Aegon. AG352UCG6. It's an ultra wide monitor and I absolutely adore this thing. I also bought it in 2019 when I built the new computer for myself. I have been using it ever since and boy, I love it so much. Of course, I also have the second monitor, it's Acer and I'm not sure which model it is because it is not mine. But I have permission to use it. Right between the monitors, I have the stand. This is a small old tripod, something very cheap from AliExpress, I assume, but this is where my camera normally stands whenever I'm ready for the streams or the casts. It has a dummy battery for it, for my camera, so it goes instead of a normal battery, and then the other part goes into the socket, so pretty much my camera can run indefinitely as long as it doesn't overheat, but this one doesn't seem to overheat. I totally forgot to mention it during the recording, but my camera is Sony Alpha 6400 with a Sigma 16 lens on it. Then on the other side, the camera is connected with a mini HDMI cable and a very cheap camcorder. It is super cheap, like the cheapest one you can buy online, but somehow it works pretty well. I don't know why. Another thing that I really love about my ultra wide monitor is this. 
well, not the headphones. It is the little holder for the headphones right on the side of it. So ideally, I'm supposed to never lose my headphones because they have their dedicated place. But in practice, um, yeah, <laughs> not really. These are the headphones that I use, by the way. Those used to be different ones, but these ones have been sent to me by Logitech G. It was a present because they were the sponsors of one of League of Legends tournaments that I was casting. This is Logitech G Pro X2 Lightspeed in their pink or magenta color. I'm not sure, but I call it pink and I absolutely adore them. Before we move to more important things, I also have some tokens on my table that I'm gonna show you. I have two little toys. This one is an elephant. I got it when I went to Japan for the first time when I was 18 years old and it was a family friend's present, like a goodbye present, you know, when I was leaving already. I really like it because it has a little solar battery on the back. So whenever it's just standing on my table and it's morning and it's sunny, I can hear it from my bed, you know, moving the uh, ears and the trunk a little bit. It's very cute. And I also have this, I'm pretty sure you know what it is. Uh, I got it for free from Pixelbox, from one of their boxes, and I love it so much that it's just standing on my table from now on. Sometimes I replace it with uh, one of my D20s. That's my favorite coaster for cups. It has seen better times, but it's a roll initiative. I quite love D&D, as you could probably tell by how I look. I'm a pretty big hoarder, so any small thing that I take with me on my table tends to just accumulate here. So I decided to get a little space for all the little things that I usually keep on my table. Two of them, I have no idea where they're coming from. Probably from one of the tripods that I have. Then I have this little fidget cube just in case I feel a little bit anxious or anything. The remote for my lights and this thing that you know what it's for. And now the important stuff, the keyboard and the mouse. AKA the things that actually allow me to do my job. I have a Logitech G mouse. This one was not sponsored. I used to have the wired version, but then I got a wireless for my birthday and I love it so much. It is the most comfortable mouse that I have ever tried. The keyboard is a fairly new addition. It was actually sponsored by my Twitch viewers. So I'm super thankful to them for doing that. They did the same with the microphone that I'm using right now. So in case you had any doubts about who has the best viewers, it's me, it's I like them. The keyboard is Keychron K6 Pro RGB Aluminum. I hope I pronounced it correctly, but it is a really good keyboard. It has the red switches and they are super nice and super quiet. And at the same time, the keyboard itself is rather heavy, which I find to be an asset. You can use it wired or wirelessly. Weirdly enough, I don't have any Bluetooth in my computer. Maybe I will build it in one day, but so far I haven't found the need to do so. So I use this keyboard wired, which doesn't add any aesthetics to my table whatsoever but it works pretty nice this way oh in case you're wondering what these things are um, I play TFT quite a lot and I just wrote down to myself when are the best times to uh, level up in the game because I keep forgetting those and I don't want to keep more tabs open on all of my monitors because I have a lot of monitors but not enough it's never enough moving on through the stuff on my table I also have a little phone holder it is some super cheap thing from AliExpress again but it works really nicely and I like to keep my phone in some dedicated place for it because otherwise I will keep losing it just like any other stuff, I suppose. The last thing that I have on my table is the love of my life. It is the microphone that I use for work strictly. This is Elgato Wave 3. I bought it two years ago, if I recall correctly, uh, because I used to have another one, but then I had an incident with it. And the incident happened right when I was supposed to go on a charity stream, if I recall correctly. And I couldn't because I had no other microphone to replace it. It was super sad, but I had a cast the very next day. So the next morning, the first thing I did when I woke up, I went to the nearest hardware store and I bought a new microphone. The best thing they had available at the moment that would be a USB microphone was Elgato Wave 3. It's standing on some very cheap hand or arm. I'm never sure how you're supposed to call them. I love, love, love the microphone itself. I hate the software. I am really not convinced with the software Elgato makes, but in terms of the quality of the microphone itself, 
zero complaints. I absolutely love this stuff and I recommend it to everybody. And I have some of my colleagues who have switched to using the same microphone as I do and they have not had any complaints either. So Elgato, if you're watching that, call me. Lastly, a good streaming setup as well as a good casting setup also needs a lot of light because I am in front of the camera. This is part of my job to look good on the camera, you know, not the most important part, of course, but you get the point. Again, I work in a super limited space and placing the lights in this place was the hardest thing of all of the setup. I have two lights. They are very cheap ones from AliExpress. Again, I believe it's like 200, 300 slot each you do your calculations. They are much cheaper than Elgato lights, but work the same way. And I have one remote for both of them, so it's super convenient. They're both standing on their dedicated tripods, one to my left, a little bit higher up. It always has a very cool light to it, and it's the strongest one that I have because it's kind of my main light. I also use a diffuser for it and a little bit of distance from it. And I found that the diffuser makes a huge difference in how good the lighting looks on camera. To the right, I have another light. I don't have a diffuser for it because I don't have another diffuser and I don't have anywhere to put it at the moment. If you look at how my first diffuser is connected, is mounted, it is <laughs> it is the weirdest mounting system you've probably ever seen, but hey, it worked. So <laughs> we work with what we got. I also sometimes use a third light just as my backlight, but sometimes I'm too lazy to get it out. So sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So yeah, this is where I spend all of my time. This is where I work. This is where all the magic happens. My computer setup is good enough for me to run all the games that I want. I haven't really encountered big problems with any games yet. It runs my video editing programs with no problem as well, which is super important for me. And I stream from it. I will have all the things that I use for my setup down in the video description. Let me know how your setup looks like. Send me some photos of your setup, maybe on Twitter. I am Solari Streams on Twitter or honestly anywhere else. I would love to see how your setups look like, especially if they are smaller ones, because I found it the hardest thing to find setups that are made in very small rooms that don't have, for example, a wall behind the table, which was a big problem for me, because where the hell am I supposed to mount my monitor and my camera? Thank you very much for watching. My name is Solari. I will be here next week with you for more videos about gaming and everything related. Have a good one. Bye.